This may as well just be a kitchen fail. Oh. Hi, I'm Kylie Jetson of the Army Vet, and today we're doing something different. I'm actually gonna taste test some different Indian foods that I bought at an Indian grocery store a couple weeks ago. Let's get to it. So the first thing we have is some methi paratha, which is Indian flatbread with fenugreek leaf and spices. And we're gonna pan fry this without oil for about a minute, minute and a half on each side. So the problem is it had defrosted a little bit out of the freezer. So it's kind of being very delicate and hard to manage. And I did try refreezing it, but it's not gone that well. So this is just kind of a disaster. Oh, oh this is just bad. This may as well just be a kitchen fail. Oh. <laughs> this is not happening. Oh, man. What in the... Jeez. Oh. Oh, it's all like... Oh. What the... Oh, damn it. This is just not... Oh. Yeah. Well, this is just a disaster in the making. Uh, I'm gonna do my best with this, but... I don't think this is really gonna work because it's like all gooey and... And I'm not sure if I like the smell of it either. I think that might be the fenugreek. This is not the most appealing thing. I tried to salvage it, but I don't know. I think lesson learned is to follow the directions and not let this defrost. Even though I did try to refreeze it, but it, it did not work. So we're gonna try this bread. I don't know why I'm using a fork for bread. Uh. I need my water. Okay. I think you guys already know the verdict on that one. I did not enjoy that at all. I think part of the problem is that I let it defrost and then trying to cook it, it kind of became like a disaster, hashtag kitchen fail or cooking fail. Uh, and yes, so I think if I were to go to India or an Indian restaurant, I think trying to order a piece of fresh bread that they make, I think that would be worth it to try it there. And that was just a catastrophe. Is this a common bread that you would find in India or maybe in a certain state? So next on the list is pure ghee modichur ladu, sweets made from chickpea flour, butter, and assorted nuts. The I do. So this looks pretty good. Madi Chur. Is Madi Chur, is that a place or a city maybe? Madi Chur. Or maybe it's a, a state? Oh wow. That looks very oily. Ooh. Oh, this is good, I think. I don't know what it tastes like, but it does have this flavor. I think it's the nuts. I think it's like a nutty flavor. Because we have almond, cashew, pistachios. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this, actually. Like, this is really good. It is kind of oily, but it is really flavorful. And it's just really sweet. And this is good. I'm definitely impressed with this. I would definitely eat this again, and I'll put the rest of these in my freezer, and I'll see if my kids like them. Next is some Punjabi mini samosa. So crispy pastry shell stuffed with spiced potatoes and peas. So I guess this is gonna be a Punjab, so a Northern Indian food. 
and we cook this by baking it in the oven about 25 minutes. So we can see the potatoes and the peas in there. A little bit of a kick. It's definitely a little spicy. I was not expecting that. But it actually said you should try to serve it with your favorite chutney. And I don't have any chutney. The closest thing I have to chutney would be some strawberry preserves. And I don't think that would go well with this. I'm trying to see what's making it spicy and there is definitely some chili in here. So I guess that's what's giving it some heat. This is okay. Whew. I'm not in love with this. I think the pastry shells are pretty good. Uh, so my verdict on this is that I'm not a huge fan. However, I do realize that this is not gonna be on par as going into an Indian restaurant in the States and ordering it, or even going to India and actually ordering it fresh made from a local restaurant or street food even. So I would definitely give these another chance, but I would not buy another frozen version of them. Next, we have some Pusa Mithai. If I'm pronouncing this wrong, I apologize. <laughs> Which is lentil sticks sweetened with jaggery. From what I remember, I believe jaggery is kind of like a sugary syrup of some kind. Is this more of a dessert or is this more of a snack? Because to me, it tastes kind of like a pretzel that's very sweet. And instead of salt, it is just kind of covered in the sweet coating, which I guess would be the jaggery. I don't love it, but I don't hate it either. It's just kind of like right there in the middle. Uh, yeah, it's definitely interesting. And I would eat some more later, definitely. Apparently this is a South Indian cuisine. So is this a big snack or dessert that you would find in Chennai or Madras? So next on the list is hide and seek fab strawberry cookies, or at least I'm assuming they're cookies. Before I taste it, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up though. It's like an Oreo, only it's square shaped and it has strawberry filling. You can find different cookies like this in the United States. Um, definitely, and I've tasted things just like this. But this is good. Um, is this chocolate or what is the biscuit made from? Okay, well I see some cocoa, cocoa solids. Okay, so I think this is a chocolate cookie with strawberry filling in it then. So yes, I would definitely buy some more of these again. I really did enjoy it. Is this a big cookie company in India or do they also make snacks as well? So on a scale of one to five, one being the food I enjoyed the most, and five being the food I enjoyed the least. Number five, no surprise, is the bread. I mean, this was a disaster. And I know part of the problem was me and how I prepared it, but I think the flavor was just horrible. No offense, of course. But I think it's a fenugreek leaf. That flavor was just way too intense and I just did not like it at all. Number four on my list is the samosa. I didn't hate it, but I really did not like it. And again, I think going to Punjab or actually going to an Indian restaurant, I'm sure it will be a lot better there than these frozen ones. Number three on my list are these little lentil sticks sweetened with jaggery. I don't love them, but it was not bad. I did enjoy actually eating these. Number two on my list are these strawberry hide and seek cookies. I did enjoy them, but it's nothing that I haven't had before with some American cookies. Number one on my list, my absolute favorite by far is the Lad Do. Like this stuff is amazing. And I do wanna have my kids try them or my husband, or maybe I'll just save it for myself. Because these were really good, actually. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are awesome. 
One of these days, I will have to go to an Indian food restaurant and actually try some food there and hopefully film it. If you did enjoy today's video, I would really appreciate a like and a sub. Until next time, I have more videos on Indian food you might want to check out.